Hey everybody, Saturday night, it's about 10 p.m. Took a little longer than I thought to go through all the data. And I'm a little under the weather. I'm fighting a pretty bad cold here, so bear with me. Now this is the latest high-res NOM uh, model. Now, here's our powerful coastal, coastal low. That's going to come up. That's a 968. Now that's just way too strong, in my opinion, to not have precipitation move into the coast. So the global models are kind of missing out to sea, but with the trends in the, in the 36 hours prior to the blizzard, prior to the coastal storm the other day, I just think precipitation is going to make it into New Jersey in the form of snow. So this is the NOM. This is the RGEM, which is a short-range Canadian. And as you can see, it's nothing major. It's really just a light, light coastal graze here from a very powerful storm. So there's a lot of volatility here. Now, I'm going to have to watch tomorrow to see if the models pull this storm further away or if, they, if the mesoscale models keep it in, in, in this uh, solution. Still a lot of uncertainty, but let's, let's talk about uh, the system after this. Again, this, is, this would be for like Monday morning through late Monday afternoon, this coastal graze. But then later on Monday evening, here's our strong low pulling away. A little bit of light snow left. Uh, this is the GFS. Now, what we're looking at here is a very prolonged period of snow. And it, this might be from like late Monday night through early Wednesday morning. But the snowfall rates are not that impressive. So we might have a, a, a very long uh, snowfall, you know, 24 hours plus, but you might only see significant accumulations from that and this is all based on an inverted trough which I'll, I'll show you in a second first the, the low pressure transfers from the great lakes area to the coast okay so there's there's high volatility there to begin with this low then moves out and you can see the inverted trough here see that now this is all slightly heavier snow that that swings through new jersey uh Tuesday into Wednesday. So I've made two maps. This is the first map which represents what I think right now the coastal storm will bring. Nothing really west of the Delaware River. This is just going to be a graze. So from, from west all the way to the coast here, you know, a coating to two inch verifies this, but if it overperforms, then, then one to four verifies this. Again, I'll be watching tomorrow to see if the models kind of pull away from this, but I, I just think with a storm that strong, it's going to get some light snow into this area. Now, we will have surface temperature issues again, just like the other morning, and that's why I sort of cut this off a little, a little bit here instead of taking it all the way down, because southeast New Jersey is going to have trouble getting down to 32 degrees, but not so much for, for parts up here. This is my second map which happens Monday, later Monday evening into early Wednesday a.m. And that Wednesday a.m. might be like 1 o'clock in the morning, so it's not like you're going to snow all the way through into Wednesday. Now, for this map, I'm too uncertain for amounts right now, but I, I think the jackpot zone is going to be right here in central PA. A little bit heavier snow here through, through central and parts of southern New Jersey. And, and then... That jack, the heavier zone is going to extend up into coastal New England. And this is just, again, all light snow over a prolonged period. So to sum this up, we have the coastal low that's going to pass by on Monday. I think that's going to bring light snow to at least the coast. Then we have the prolonged inverted trough system, which I believe is going to bring snow from late Monday night through early Wednesday morning. You know, at least a 24-hour period of, of light to moderate snow. So when we're all said and done on Wednesday, there might be some places that get a little bit from the coastal and then a little bit from this. So you could be you could be looking at maybe double digits for places that get hit by both. We'll see. Tomorrow I'm going to make another call, the final call on the coastal. You might see me move it out a little bit if the storm's out to sea. You might be uh, see me pull it northwest if the northwest trend uh, continues. So uh, thanks for your patience. Have a great night and be safe.